Hi, thank you for choosing to watch this video. God bless you and protect you. May his face shine upon you. May the Holy Spirit be upon you as I share this message, this message that's on my heart. Know that you are loved by God, that you are precious in his eyes, that God will never leave you nor forsake you and that God's will and God's plan for your life before creation was for you to be hearing this message now because there is, I truly believe, a, a divine reason that you are listening and watching this video. This, is, this video is part six of seven of a series that I'm doing, which is all about praying for family members to be saved. So at this point in your life, if you haven't yet received Jesus into your life as your Lord and Saviour, then know that Jesus is waiting with open arms. Know that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, he is the way, the truth and the life and the only way to salvation. And that at any time in your heart, when you, when you believe, when you truly believe in Jesus, that he is who he says he is, you can receive Jesus into your life as your Lord and Saviour. If you're watching this and you're living in faith and you pray, you pray for family members, you pray for friends, you've maybe watched some of the other videos, you may have become despondent. You may have felt like your prayers aren't being heard, your prayers aren't being answered. You may have been feeling like it's going to be impossible for your family member or members for them to come into the truth of who they are in Christ, maybe because of the way they act, the way they behave, the, the way the things that they say because of the circumstances. Well, I'm sharing this series of videos, these seven parts, because I truly believe that that you can have breakthrough, that you can have breakthrough with the people that you've been praying for. So I'm just going to do a very quick recap. So this is part six of seven. Part one of seven was no what God's desire is for your family. Part two is know that God's purpose for your family will prevail. Part three was that know that God can do the impossible, no matter what you may be facing right now. Number four, trust only in God's perfect plan and timing. And I'm going to do a video at the end just to recap on, on each of these and the scriptures with each of these these seven parts that I'm doing. Part five, the, the previous video to this, was to know your authority and power in prayer. And then part six, this, this part now, is to use the word of God in your prayers. So if, if you've been praying to God, I, I've met people who, who pray, but they don't, Sorry, just a little Wi-Fi connection issue there. So I, I know people in my life that have been praying, but they don't necessarily, or they haven't necessarily been using the word of God in their prayers. So they have been praying for, for things, for circumstances, for changes, for God to answer their prayers or for them to have peace or for them to have wisdom, but they've not been using the word of God. If that's you, if you've not really been using the word of God in your prayers, or, or maybe sometimes you use the word of God, um, other times you just choose your own words. This is such an important thing. This is, this is an important message from our father to you, that he wants you to use his word, the word of God that is sharper than any two-edged sword, in your prayers. When I'm in prayer, I'm often, when I'm led by the Holy Spirit, I'm often led to bring in scriptures. So for instance, I can be in prayer and I can say, Heavenly Father, you are the almighty God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Everyone that's listening to this message now has been chosen to be free and who the sun sets free is free indeed. And this is, 
Like now, as I'm saying these words, I'm declaring over you in the name of Jesus that you have been chosen to be free and who the sun sets free is free indeed. Using the word of God, the word of God tells us that there is no height, nor depth, nor any other creature that, we, that will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. We can use the word of God in our prayers, and this is from one of the earlier parts in this series, to say when we're praying for someone, when we're praying for the salvation of someone, we can say that, Father, they, they may plan all kinds of things, but the Lord's will is going to be done. So we can take scripture and apply it and use it in our prayers and speak it and declare it. I believe there are so many followers of Christ, so many people who, have, who would say they're Christians that don't currently realise the power and the authority that they have in Christ. The power and the authority that they can use when they speak and declare the word of God in their life, in their circumstances, when they're praying for people. We have an authority in the name of Jesus Christ that makes the principalities and the powers of evil and darkness absolutely tremble. The word of God tells us, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Often in my prayers, I declare the words of Jesus when he was out for 40 days being tempted in the wilderness by Satan. When Jesus said to Satan, get behind me, Satan. We can use these words. We can use and take the words of God in our prayers. If we're struggling with our mind, maybe we're feeling a bit fearful for whatever reason. In our prayers, we can take the word of God and we can say, Heavenly Father, you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, of love and of a sound mind. I declare these words over me now. taking the word of God and using the word of God in your prayers. If you have been doing already, I recommend you do it more. If you haven't been doing it much or not at all, I can't recommend enough from my heart for you to start using the word of God in your prayers. And I'm going to turn the screen round and share a scripture. Isaiah 55 verse 11. It is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to and it will prosper everywhere I send it. Heavenly Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus Christ that your Holy Spirit is upon your precious children that are listening to this and watching this video now. That you are giving them revelation, Father, that you are removing the shackles. That they are going to be speaking and declaring the word of God in their prayers like never before. Because your word tells us here, Father, that when you send out your word, when we use your word, when we speak and declare your word, it always produces fruit. It doesn't say it sometimes produces fruit. It says it always produces fruit. And Father, you tell us here that it will accomplish all you want it to. And it will prosper everywhere you send it. Father, we thank you for your word. 
that is sharper than any two-edged sword. Father, as I just go back to some of the other pages, your word tells us in 2 Corinthians 10, 4, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The weapons of our warfare, we are to use the word of God because it, because it will accomplish, Father, all that you want it to and it will prosper everywhere you send it. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for Proverbs. We thank you for Proverbs 19.21 because you tell us that we can make many plans. But your purpose, Father, the Lord's purpose will prevail. And your word also tells us, Father, in 1 Timothy 2, verse 4 that you want everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you that we can take your word and pray your word and declare your word. We thank you, Father, that your word, when you send it out, when we speak your word, it always produces fruit and it will accomplish all you want it to. And you want everyone to be saved and to understand the truth, Father. And thank you that when we speak your word, we know that it will prosper everywhere that you send it, Father. So I'm almost at the end of this seven part series. I pray in the name of Jesus that you are being blessed, that you are getting revelation, that the Holy Spirit is upon you, that your faith is increasing. And after I've concluded this seven part series, I think I'll do one final video where I just show all seven scriptures, one after the other that you can use, that you can take, that you can start to speak, that you can start to declare. Because I truly believe in faith that I've been led to do this series, this short series of videos, because our Father, God Almighty, he wants to strengthen you, he wants to build you up, he wants you to have faith like you have never had before, he wants you to have belief in him that he is the God of the impossible. He wants you to take the authority in the, in, the, in the spiritual realm over powers and principalities of evil. He wants you to use the word of God to break down powers and principalities and demonic altars and to break demonic strongholds and generational curses. And he also wants you to trust in him. Trust in him completely. Trust in our Father's perfect plan and his perfect timing, knowing that he works in all things. He works in all things for good, for those that love him and those that live according to his purpose for them. And you, like me, have been chosen to be free and who the Son sets free is free indeed. You are so precious in our Father's eyes. And I praise God for this series, these videos, these messages that the Spirit is leading me to deliver and share. And for you to have seven scriptures which you can turn to, which you can trust, that you can rely on, that you can use in your prayers. For you to see breakthroughs, for you to see prayers answered, for you to see miracles for you to see God do the impossible in your life and in the lives of your family members and friends and your circumstances. God bless you and protect you. 
May his face shine upon you always. In the name of Jesus, amen.